Hello everyone, Coach Carol with you now and a very happy new year to everyone. This is the 1st of January 2023, the start of a brand new year with brand new plans and hopes for the future. As a genealogist and family historian, I like to write stories about my ancestors and I have my plans for this year already on my drawing board. Part of my plan for January is to give little tips that will help you breathe life into your family history stories. I recently did some research from those wiser than I who have written about the reasons why you should do your family history. And I found this one, which had 20 reasons why you should write your family history. It was in a terrific blog post from the New York Public Library. And that was some years ago, but it still rings true. Reason number one, you'll feel wiser. Indeed you will. You will find out more about yourself as you dig into the stories of your ancestors. Reason two, first person narratives and family histories are important historical documents. Reason three, you and your family are important to somebody, probably many somebodies. Number four, family trees are abstract, stories add depth. And the last one for today, number five, is that writing your family history gives you the chance to depict your ancestors how you see fit. There are many ways you can breathe life into your life story and to those of your ancestors. Have a look at some of the opportunities for yourself this year and start with a plan. There are many blogs around that give you heaps of information and as a family researcher over many years I think it's important that we write our family histories to share with our descendants. Your short ancestral stories can be just enough family history to suit the tastes of some people and for others it will provide the catalyst that will send you on a quest to find out more. I'm going to give you a tip every day in January to keep you up to date and focused on preserving your family history.